I want behind the scenes at Apple. Yes, Apple, 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 Apple. And I'm gonna expose exactly what goes on behind the scenes at Apple Fitness and tell you five secret ways to use your Apple Watch that you're probably not doing. Step one, hop on a plane to LA. Step two, they checked me into a hotel. Yes, Apple got me a hotel room for the night. Do you want a quick tour? The bed I slept in last night, the disaster of everything I brought, messy bathroom, messy bathroom. Probably should have filmed that before the hurricane that is me came in. Anyways, back to the concept at hand. I've been invited to a special Apple event about running and cycling and Apple Watch. So, so apparently I've been using my Apple Watch wrong and so have you. They're gonna show me and I'm gonna go behind the scenes at Apple headquarters here in LA and I'm gonna bring you guys through to undercover at Apple, but they're letting me. How is this my life? I got into YouTube watching Casey Neistat. He would get sent to these Apple events and I'm like, oh, coolest thing ever. I mean, like, I'm still like Casey here. I'm like, there you go, kind of just right, right here, right here. Let's get into it. I'm so nervous. Not a lot to like bring anything, so I'm not gonna run its purse. So I got my running vest. Of course, I always link it down below. I gotta go undercover, so we're using our iPhone. We're gonna throw here. Credit card. In goes the laptop. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pack a couple of these. <laughs> We're gonna run, bike, yoga. Just gonna pop a couple of these in here. Wake up bright and early and head over to Apple Fitness headquarters. Disclosed location. There was no signs on the wall, just this beautiful brick building that I started filming at until I got yelled at and they were like, how do you cannot be filming at this park? They had a room, showed us these secret ways to use our Apple Watch and then brought us out into the wild where they showed me the five secret ways we can do about the Apple Watch before we did more of a tour of uh, Apple Fitness. They brought us down to Santa Monica Pier with three of their trainers, Emily, Josh, and Daryl. So if they look familiar, if you've ever opened up Apple Watch app and you've gone to this Apple Fitness and done any of the workouts, we got to meet all their trainers and do these workouts with them. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so we're doing just an open run. Secret number one is create a custom workout. Click run, for example, top three buttons in the corner, create custom workout. You can add in your warm up, cool down, specific distances, sprint intervals, exactly how your race you want it to be. Your watch will map you out. And if you have your AirPods in, gosh darn Apple ecosystem, it will tell you what stage of your workout you're in. Now, if you've ever run a marathon, you've probably seen pacers. Maybe you've seen on the Olympics or this person that's running in front of the person racing to let them know they're keeping pace. But did you know your Apple Watch can be a pacer? Yes, you can set your watch to the specific time you wanna finish a distance run, a time run, and it will let you know if you're getting a couple seconds too fast or a couple seconds too slow. When it's in the green, you're running faster than your pace. When it's in the red, you're going too slow. Now we're doing a pacing run. So it's just think of how in marathons they have a pacer. Your Apple Watch becomes that piece. You can create a race route. Guess what runners love? Routine. Repetition. So what ends up happening? You run the same routes again and again. Okay, campers, rise and shine. It's Groundhog Day. Come on, oh, no. Your Apple Watch will now recognize that, and so it will save your routes so you can have it can help you track how much faster, slower you're doing runs, and try and beat PRs. Speaking of PRs, tip number four, track running. This little thing called Apple Maps. Thanks to Apple's ability to use Apple Maps, they have all the tracks saved down to the specific lane you're running on that track, just to help with the accuracy of your speeds, distance, and tracking on your Apple Watch when you're on track. Number five might be my favorite thing. You know what? I love, as someone who's an athlete, being coached. You know what is expensive once you're no longer in high school? A coach. And now your Apple Watch can act as your coach. It now has a stat called vertical oscillation, which shows how much you're going up and down instead of forward. So here's a lot of vert vertical oscillation. I'm going yeah. up and down. Or I can be more steady. Even. Perfect. Yeah, I don't want to waste all that energy going up when I want to go forward towards the finish line. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You want your energy propelling you forward, not up and down. Now you may notice I have switched the ultra. Yes, it's not as pretty as my other one, but oh my God, this thing is a beast. For example, one thing, push to start. Cause the three, two, one's nice for your Instagram reels. But when you're at a race and you want to get exact times, you just do boop. 
push to start, and it immediately starts tracking your race. So you don't have to perfectly time the three, two, one, cross the finish line, cross the start line. But a lot of times the start line is the finish line. You know what I mean. <laughs> so we did our run. They showed us how to use all the different features. And then we did a bike on Santa Monica. Let's go. <laughs> I never look cool with a helmet. Every time I go down to Santa Monica, I'm like, should I move to LA? Should I look at this? It's so beautiful. We have this case that put our phone right on front of the bike, and that can now be the screen, because a lot of bikes, you probably see the screen to show your power and your speed and all that, but now that can be just your phone acts as that. And I'm not a big biker, so but I do want to do a triathlon. I should probably get into biking, but alas, I like to run, I like to swim. I've just never quite caught the biking bug yet. 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 Foreshadowing, maybe. Helmet on, license plate, which is so cute. I learned my lesson, I now wear my helmet. Thank you everyone who commented that in the triathlon video, that was my error of forgetting that you wear helmets on bikes. That's how long it's been since I biked. <laughs> So we returned back to Apple headquarters. They brought us through room for room. And all I can say is think beautiful white, marble, concrete, yet not echoey, beautiful, warm. Every single person to get through every room was just tap with your phone. It was seamless. Let's talk about the Apple Fitness Plus Studio. Especially in COVID, I did a lot of these workouts when we were shut down and they were always so beautiful. They have this room that every wall has a different workout class. Like one's like for yoga and meditation, the others for rowing and hit. And they had all the cameras in the middle and these state of the art, they wouldn't let me take a photo or video of and I wish I could. And they're gonna see a live recording of one of these workout classes. It was the yoga, seeing her record it, it felt like a movie scene, Vogue, all mixed in one. We went upstairs to the NASA like room where they're directing it, giving cues. And there was 50 different cameras, it was, Mind blowing, but then this is the cool part that I can show you. They've never actually hosted a fitness class in here, so we did a 10 minute yoga class. I got to do it in the studio they filmed at with one of their instructors, and it was just amazing. It makes sense why everything is beautiful and seamless. It makes sense when suddenly you're like, oh, camera angle, that's kind of nice. There's 50 people behind the screens who are at the top audio, like they had multiple audio technicians for a workout video. And that's why it all perfectly works out with the music and all this, all the trainers are in the back in this training room rehearsal, like it is a choreographed dance thing. And it was amazing. And that was my experience at Apple. If you're like, wow, Kelsey, that was fast. It was, I was literally there for 24 hours. Then I had to sprint to the airport, stuff food in my mouth, and then come right back to Vancouver and then run a half marathon in two days, which yes, after my CrossFit injury, but that's for a future video. So hit subscribe if you guys want to see, I have a big running video coming up for you guys soon, but I just want to thank you guys. This is a short video. I thought it'd be fun. They gave me a couple tips that I didn't know about my Apple watch that I thought it could be useful, especially my runners of just like creating your own workout pacing, things I don't utilize. I just put open go, but this was such a cool experience to be at Apple headquarters. And it's all because of you guys. When I got into YouTube, I remember seeing Casey Neistat and like Marquez Brownlee get invited to Apple things. And I've only ever had an Apple computer since I was little. I don't know why I've just always loved the product. I love the ecosystem. I love the accessibility. I just love the creativity and just everything to be noticed by Apple. And when they were like, Oh, we're doing something with the watch. Let's invite Kelsey. That was, that was really cool. Oh, don't get emotional. It's only because of you guys, like, I, I don't know, like it doesn't hit me that I do YouTube. <laughs> like, I, know some, I don't know how to describe it. Like I film a camera, edit it, send it off to you guys, comment. And it, it just feels like a cute little community we have. And I think no one else notices me. <laughs> and it just really neat to know that like a Apple, Apple was like, yo. And I've, I've run into a lot of you guys running in the last three weeks. Sorry. I'm having an emotional moment with my comments and there's a moving truck in the background. Goddamn Gordon food service truck is ruining the vibe. After sports ended, I, I used to always call myself basketball player and then I didn't have basketball. And I tried a thousand different things. And lately over the last few years, like, you know, I'll call myself a YouTuber, a runner and a DJ and music producer now is, uh, it's really cool. When you finally like, cause it's not like I joined a team and now it's like, oh, you're on the run team. You know, at what point do you say like, oh, I'm a runner. And just kind of cool that Apple's like, yo, Kelty, you're a runner. 
and just the running community here in Vancouver and just running around the world, I've ran into quite a few of you guys and I think that's what's really cool about running, just the community it is. There's something about it. It's it's kind of nerdy that we all just start as finish line, turn on our Apple Watch, we run and then we stop and, but I freaking love it and I love you guys. And thank you for making this opportunity possible. Thank you, Apple, for knowing I exist. <laughs> Have a great day, go pet a dog, love you guys, bye.